Hey, what's up, Tack Warehouse? Corey and Daniel, uh, more ICAST coverage here. We got the man, the myth, the legend, Mark Zona. Z, how you doing, man? Uh, I, it's This is the strangest ICAST of all of our entire lives. <laughs> it's fair to it say. Is. It but is. You know what's strange is, uh, as much as I love being with you at ICAST, what I miss most is being with you after hours, ICAST. So this is going to have to take its place, Corey. Maybe after the call, we do after hours iCast virtual or something. We'll figure it yes. out. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm sure. I'm sure we could pull that <laughs> off with a late night FaceTime to each other. <laughs> oh, the next few days. Be the, I, I, I'm a little bummed out that you weren't in full costume with a little uh, puts the lotion on the skin from the the hike live segment. I was kind of hoping for that a little bit. The weekend's young, Corey. <laughs> the weekend's very young. Like what's weird is, I've lived in this room. When I haven't been taping the last five months, I've literally lived in this room for, for the last five months, but I'm looking at the lake and I got a feeling as, stu as soon as the storms leave, the lake's going to pop, if you know what I mean. I know where you're going to be then. So you've yes. been doing a lot of filming like for, for the awesome fishing show. Where you, I've, I've noticed you do a lot more of that, the show dirt stuff you kind of started doing I don't know, a month or two ago, and that's some pretty cool stuff. What else you been filming? Well, you know, the show dirt stuff was a little bit of, of like when everything was locked down. I, I uh, the, my buddy that produces the show, Michael Middleton, we came up with that idea actually last year to go back in the library of shows that are just, you know, they're on they're on my outdoor TV, Corey. But I was like, hell, that's a that's a lot of content that we could do a lot more how to that we're not able to get in the show. So we knock we knock those out where they kind of bridged throughout the shutdown of just having content that was going and going and going. But we also did a couple uh, Zona Lives uh, the last few months. And when the Elite series, series had not been going, um, I, I've taped more Zona shows throughout April to now than I have in the last 18 years. I mean, at, boy, you don't want to say this right now, but we're a little bit, we're a little bit ahead with Zona shows, because I know the other side of, of the Elite Series, when we get really cranking again, that that's going to take priority. Very nice. If you guys haven't checked out Zona show, uh, it is the awesome fishing show, and it deservedly so. It is one of the, it is my favorite show, hands down. So uh, if you want some Zona, go check it out. I highly recommend it. What do we I got? Love you, Corey. What do we What do we got first to talk about today for new product wise, Daniel? Uh, we got uh, Strike King Ned bait. Um, and it's an expansion of their RD. They have the Rage Ned Bug and the Cutter Worm. So we have the Rage Tail Ned Craw. Zona, what's going on with that thing? So, you, you know, and gosh, I mean, you, 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 you guys know this more than anything, is, is I actually did an interview. I, I, I fished with, not, to, not a long drawn out story, but I fished with Ned Katie, who, the Ned bait was was named after. Nice. And, and it, it, I fished with him on Table Rock, and I'll, I'll never forget this, Corey. He he showed me what a Ned rig was like five or six or seven years ago, and I'm like, that is the dumbest thing <laughs> on earth, and I will never drop that thing. But with that being said, it's almost like the first time that that I threw a weightless stick bait wacky rig where you're like, wow really and then all of a sudden you're like okay okay it's a numbers getter and then you're like wow a ned rig is also not only when the going gets tough it it's it, it, it's a lot like a drop shot it catch it gets bites and it catches big ones so when really when striking you know this was at last year's icast heck i think i did videos with you um a lot of the traditional ned style baits you know this your customers know this are that traditional perfect little two and a half to three inch straight tail okay that's where the ned ocho came from striking but if you really look across the board of striking of all their pla soft plastics they've got just a lot of action to them like the ned rage bug you're talking about the ned cutter worm so next thing in line is this year's little i, I call this mr pretty boy right mm -hmm. there the Ned Rage Crawl, right? Mm -hmm. That that was next in line because if you really look at um, throughout, whether it's flipping, whether it's a jig trailer, the Rage Crawl just has a ton of action. 
And, and I think what Strike King did more than anything with their whole med series of baits is take a, a traditionally little action technique and add a ton of action to it. If you look at this bait right here, number one, perfectly cut off head to where it's going to fit against your, your lead head good. The other side is ribbed body and it's a little bit, it's a little bit um, tougher plastic to where you can catch more than one or two or three fish on it. Um, and the other side of this is it's got the traditional Ned, I'm sorry, the rage flanges on the cross to where you're going to get a ton of action. And what's funny is I, I did a, uh, a zone alive where I was alone. It was probably a month and a half ago. And I, not, I, I knocked the zone alive out. I'm like, heck, man, let's go back out there and shoot a show with, with this right here. It is one of the most, best way to put it, it is one of the most active Ned baits I have ever thrown in my entire life. The other thing that I noticed about this, Corey, um, you've got, you know this, you, you a, a finesse jig, it's so hard to find a trailer. Number one, a trailer that will fit the shank hook on a lot of the, the finesse jigs that we throw. Um, th this is one of the most premier finesse jig trailers I have used in my life. That's good. I like that. Yes. And that'll, and that'll be, uh, do you know how many colors that'll be in? Gosh, I think across the board, um, you, you might I'm going to say, I, I think I, I'm going to say offhand, don't quote me on this, but I believe there's 12 colors in it. You are Nine correct. Per, 12 colors. Yeah. Awesome. See, I'm bringing it. I'm bringing <laughs> the information today, guys. Cool. That is going to be available for pre-order right now yeah pre -order, so, guys. Yeah. if you guys want to check out those colors go to the website and pre-order yourself some of those yeah here's how many i have left that is literally how many i have left <laughs> yeah now i know you're, you're a big fan of cracking that tube is, is, is there any ned cracking is that even a thing at all or is that not really where eh, nah? one of one of the thing and here's the the thing with and get, number one yes what i've learned of the, and this is no joke um this spring, I was out with my boys, and my boy, Corey, you know, my boys fish a ton, they fish a lot of tournaments, and we did not have our traditional net baits in the boat, whether it's a net ocho or a bug, and the water was real, real, real cold. I'm talking like 38 to 41 degrees, but we had baby Z2s in the boat. And I said, well, hell, just, just give that to me. And I put it on a, on a lead head, threw it out, and I started kind of snipping, and it's not your traditional cracking to where, you know, heck, we fish together, Corey. Yeah. When you're cracking a tube, you're putting it to work. Um, so I, I threw that baby Z2 out on a net head. I was kind of snitching it like that. As God is my witness, a baby Z2 is one of the best net baits on planet Earth. <laughs> and I not to be a, a total unnecessary name dropper, Van Dam was somewhere in the country and he called me and he said, Hey, I'm coming home. Are the fish bite? And I said, dude, you only need one bait. You need a baby Z2 on a quarter ounce net head right now. Throw it. Don't talk time. He goes, Oh, that just sounds lame. Cause you know, Van Dam <laughs> wants to throw, Van Dam wants to throw a jerk bait, a jerk bait. Yeah. And a jerk bait. <laughs> so long story short, he came home. And he's like, wow, that thing's really, really, really has power. But where, where you're able to crack a baby Z2, it cuts water real good. It's very, it's very cylinder, it, 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 it comes through water quick, so you're able to crack a little harder. The one thing, I don't wanna get ahead of myself, um, but working on heavier Ned heads that will have the correct hook to where you can get that traditional cracking style could be the next thing we mm. talk about Corey. i like that the ned crack <laughs> yes very cool yeah that was the first time ever cracking a tube with, with you were up there uh, probably three four years ago it's been a while but that was pretty neat technique and, and uh i've yes. applied out here a little bit and it's been cool uh so with the uh, the elites have uh, been pushed back this last one was canceled 
uh, with everything going on. I guess you, you're you from doing anything with the studio right now, so I guess it's a little more set up. It's, you're still affected, obviously, by it, but at least you, you're in the studio not having to go locations. But how's the elites looking? What are you thinking? Uh, how's the season going so far? Well, you know, coming off of Ufala and with Buddy winning that tournament and that, you know, Aaron on ESPN, I'll be honest with you, number one, being on ESPN Live for what felt like 217 hours um, was a little bit, it was a little bit stressful because um, you never know what, what can come, come out when you're doing <laughs> live stuff. Yes. But, um, I, you know, I was, I, was, I was bummed out about Cayuga, number one, because it's Cayuga, uh, and you know that you're going to get a, a lot of fish catches, whether you're on Bassmaster Live uh, on .com or, or you're on television doing it, I was just natural. I was very excited about that tournament. Um, but I, I do give, gosh, man, it's weird. Um, I, I give, and Corey, you know me. I mean, I, I hate to say it. I like to, I'm that person at work that likes to get on other people that works behind and vice versa. I give Bass a lot of credit because they, they really pushed to have that event at Cayuga and with what, whether it was the testing facilities that they were going to have for their anglers and the logistics with that, I, you know, I'm like everybody else, as much as you want to get traction and, and get the season going again and again and again, you have to do that properly. And you obviously have to do that safely, especially in States where it is completely mandatory. Um, with that being said, I've been told that that we're, you know, pretty much full steam ahead for St. Lawrence Um and then after St. Lawrence Champlain. So fingers crossed, uh, we'll get things cranked up. Just for, for the simple point, um, I, I have a pretty good feeling that there's gonna be a lot of programming hours coming. And those are two really premier fisheries to do that. With that being said, after going to New York, and then I believe we come to Michigan, I think one of the most unique things for the rest of the year uh, for, for, for the viewers is going to traditional fisheries, whether they're Chickamauga or Fork or, or, or going to uh, Santee Cooper, is going to those traditional fisheries in very untraditional times to where, and, and I don't want this to sound the wrong way, but heck man, a ledge tournament's a ledge tournament, a sight fishing tournament's a sight fishing tournament. Um, I, I'm excited to get back into that that real fall transition, fish getting on bait. Um, I think there's going to be a, a potential of a lot of frog fishing nice. uh, this fall. It, it's go, It's going to be traditional fisheries with a lot of different techniques that we haven't seen, I think, in a long, long time. Very cool. Yeah, I, I'm really excited for Lisa to come back and check it out. Um, hopefully, uh, be coming back soon and get to watch Z Live. I'm sure you guys have all watched I know you all watched the Elite Series, and if you haven't watched Z, go check out his show. Uh, again, it's 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 Zona. Just you can't you never have too much Z. So uh, appreciate no, you. No, you absolutely can. No, you absolutely can. <laughs> Trust me when I tell. You. Uh, and throughout this entire shutdown, if I asked every person in the house right now if you can have too much me, uh, yeah, hell yeah. yes. You can. <laughs> they want you to get back out of here. So well, as, as we uh, wait for those Elite Series tournaments to get started again, where can people go check out your show? Uh, if you, really, if you go to any of my uh, social media channels, if you go to Mark Zona Fishing uh, on YouTube, I, I think it's Mark Zona Fishing on Instagram. Uh, but when we're not there, over on Bassmaster.com, ton of, ton of good stuff there. And like I said, hopefully we're going to get the, the, uh, the, the train rolling here in the next few weeks and uh, get back in the saddle in studio. And I, I, you know what's, what's strange is, is I, I think, you know, fishing has done really good throughout a really dark time in the country. Uh, but went from a competition standpoint, I, I think everybody's ready to get the snowball rolling uh, as soon as possible. Definitely. Well, again, appreciate you taking the time to, to come talk to us today. It's, it's always a good time having you on. We got our boys Littner and Creed up next, and that's probably gonna be, well, it's Littner and Crete. We'll see how it goes. But uh, definitely, again, appreciate you taking the time with us today. It's been a fun time. And hopefully we get to back up there in Michigan or sometime and hang out with you guys and do some fishing. 